Hello everyone. Welcome to another all about optometry video. In this video you will get to know anti-reflection coatings and anti-fog coatings. An anti-reflection coating is a thin and clear set of layers applied to a lens surface. It serves two purposes, it reduces unwanted reflections from the lens surface, and it increases the amount of light that actually passes through the lens to the eye. An interesting phenomenon happens when light hits a lens surface. It's called the window effect. It looks like light reflecting from a window. This gets more visible as the refractive index of a lens increases. That's why high index lens users need anti reflection coating more. There are five ways reflections take place in a spectacle lens. In Figure 1 and 2, light coming from behind the eyeglass wearer will reflect from the front and the back surfaces of the lens. This problem is more obvious in the night, when there is bright light from behind. In the following figures 3, figure 4, and figure 5, reflected light will look like ghost images. Figure 3 is only 0.17% of the total reflections, yet is the most annoying kind. This is more common when we look at lights like street lights at night. Anti-reflection coatings significantly decrease such reflections. Several layers of the coating raise the light transmission to 99%. So, what is the theory of anti-reflection coatings? To work, an anti-reflection coating must fulfill two conditions. The path condition. It means the optical thickness of the anti-reflection coating layer. The light waves will reflect from the coating and the lens surfaces to cause destructive interference, which will ultimately reduce reflections. The idea behind anti-reflection coatings is that, the creation of a double interface by means of a thin film gives you two reflected waves. The amplitude condition. In simple terms, the refractive index of the coating has to be the square root of the lens material to again cause destructive interference, thus preventing reflections. For example, for a refractive index of 1.74, when calculated the refractive index of the anti-reflection coating is the square root of 1.74, that is 1.319. Single-layer coatings are not that effective as multi-layer coatings because different wavelengths of light will need different thickness of coatings. That's why multi-layered coatings help to solve the problem of single-layer coatings. Here is how a multi-layered coating is applied. A primer is applied on the lens. Then it is hard coated, which is the anti scratch coating. Anti reflection coating will stick better to a high quality hard coating. Because anti reflection coatings are like paper, and plastic materials are softer than the coating, under pressure the coating will tear. The hard coat is like a piece of cardboard or glass sheet under the paper that will prevent the paper from ripping. That is why on hard materials like glass, Anti-reflection coating is more durable and long-lasting. Now a sticky layer or bonding agent is applied, so that the anti-reflection coating can stick extremely well to the hard coat. The next step is to meticulously clean the lenses and inspect them for visible and microscopic surface defects. Even a tiny smudge, piece of lint, or hairline scratch on a lens during the coating process can cause a defective anti-reflection coating. This is followed by air drying and heating of the lenses in special ovens to further remove unwanted moisture and gases from the lens surface. The lenses are then loaded into special metal racks. These racks are then loaded into the coating chamber. The door of the chamber is sealed and the air is pumped out of the chamber to create a vacuum. While the lens racks are rotating in the coating chamber, a power source within the machine focuses a beam of electrons onto a small crucible that contains a series of metal oxides in separate compartments. When the coating materials are bombarded by electrons, they vaporize within the coating chamber and adhere to the surfaces of the lenses creating a uniform, microscopically thin optical layer on the lens. The anti-reflection coating is applied in multiple layers, interchanging between high and low refractive index. It does not necessarily mean that many layers will give lower reflections. Finally, a hydrophobic, oleophobic layer is applied on the top as a smudge repellent. What are the advantages of anti-reflection coatings? 
Anti-reflection coatings give better light transmission through the lens, decrease glare, improve vision in dark conditions, make thick lenses appear thinner, are easier to clean than uncoated lenses, and finally are cosmetically appealing. Anti-reflection coatings in sunglasses reduce mirror-like reflections from the back surface. The coating lets the back surface reflections pass on instead of getting reflected. Anti-reflection coatings in photochromic lenses increase the transmission of light in both dark and light states. The only disadvantage is that smudges are more visible. Also, the contrast between clean and dirty areas of the lens are more visible. So how do you care for an anti-reflection coated lens? Anti-reflection coatings, although tough nowadays, are not as tough as the surface of a normal spectacle lens. Avoid using ultrasound cleaners, extreme heat exposure, corrosive chemicals like acetone, ammonia, hairspray, and other aerosol sprays, and marking lenses with heavy inks. The right way to clean an anti-reflection coated lens is to rinse the lenses in lukewarm water, clean with mild dishwashing liquid or hand soap, rinse soap off with tap water, and finally, wipe off with a microfiber cloth. Let's talk about anti-fog coatings. With the COVID-19 pandemic requiring people to use masks for long extensive time, a constant complaint that keeps popping up is fogging of lenses of spectacle users while exhaling. Anti-fog coatings are hence becoming more popular. They can be made permanently as well as temporarily. Did you know? Anti-fog chemicals were actually developed by NASA during the Gemini program to be used on helmet visors. During one of their first spacewalk tests, an astronaut experienced fogging in his helmet visor. This prompted NASA to develop the anti-fog solution. In the permanent process, a layer of coating is applied to the lens during production. The resin film of anti-fog coating absorbs moisture and converts the water droplets into a thin layer of water. The permanent anti-fog feature is more often found in sports eyewear like swimming goggles. The other way of anti-fog treatment is to use anti-fog sprays. Not all sprays are compatible with anti-reflection coatings. Zeiss Anti-Fog Spray is an example of a product that is compatible with anti-reflection coatings. That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and found it educating. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the All About Optometry channel and share the video. Do let us know in the comments what subjects would you like to know more about. Thanks. See you in the next video.